Crawford with JE Pistons, and today we're going to be talking about the asymmetrical piston design. Uh, you've probably all seen this design here, which is a regular round or full round piston design that's been popular for years. Uh, in the last year, JE has developed a brand new piston design for sport compact applications. It's called the asymmetrical. So as you can see, obviously there's, there's some differences, and I'm going to tell you about what they are. Uh, when we designed this piston, basically we started with a clean sheet of paper, and we wanted to come up with something that was ideal for today's high power force induction engine. So a few things came from that. Uh, we started out first by creating the asymmetrical piston skirt itself. So what you're seeing here is you have a very large skirt area, or what I consider a, a conventional skirt area, on the major thrust side. And that's the side where you're seeing all the, all the side loading during you know, high RPM, but most more than anything, cylinder pressure. So as your engine's firing, it's pushing very hard up against the cylinder, or the cylinder wall, and you have a lot of pressure there. So we have a lot of surface area to, to handle those loads, and we, can, we maintain the strength on this side. However, on the minor thrust side, it's really only there to keep the piston stable in the bore, and it doesn't receive the same amount of load. So what we did is we reduced the skirt area, and uh, we do a few things. We save weight, reduce friction, uh, which overall you know, is a benefit to our customers. So in addition to the asymmetrical skirt design, we also did a few other things. Uh, we have a contoured undercrown that we created. So the actual deck of this piston, here's a cutaway, is thicker in the center, and then it gets thinner towards the outside. So for, again, for a forced induction application, this is ideal because we have thickness where we need it, but then, again, we can save weight in areas that we don't. So overall, again, a lighter part without sacrificing the strength. Um, other things we did is what we call smooth finish crown. So you'll see on the top of this piston here, it's very, very smooth. We have a special tool that does this. So all these edges towards the outside of the valve pockets and all through the crown, it's very, very smooth. There isn't any sharp edges. Um, this is included on our entire asymmetrical piston line at no charge. Uh, it just comes that way right out from the factory. Uh, the last thing that we did is we created an offset wrist pin. So you may look at this piston and think that, you know, the balance is out of whack. You may think that it's very heavy on one side and thin, and because it's thin on the other side, it's very light, but that's not the case. We've actually uh, uh, accounted for that by actually putting the wrist pin offset towards the, the major thrust side. So this, it's actually balanced right through the center of the pin board. So, we do that about 20 thousandths, and the mass center is almost dead center down the wrist pin axis. Uh, it also reduces piston slap and noise that you commonly hear when the engine starts up. Overall, we have these available for about almost every four-cylinder application you can think of, everything from the Honda B series, Honda K series, Mitsubishi 4G63, Toyota 2JZ, and many more, but you can check out the link below if you want to see all these applications on our website.